What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you this amazing way to rank up them light levels up to I believe a 365 just in time for that raid this week. But before we get into the video, if this video helps you guys out, leaving a like is very much appreciated. 5,000 likes would be absolutely insane. Now first things first, you need a fire team of three. This simply will not work unless you have your own fire team. Now there are a few different setups you can use and to be honest it's what works best for you. We tried a few different options and found what I'll show you guys in this video work best for us. Okay, so you need a Warlock, a Titan and a Hunter, but you can use two Warlocks and a Hunter or even two Hunters and a Warlock. If only one Warlock is being used though, the other two Guardians need to have the Raised Lighter Exotic Sword. Now the setups you'll need to use are as follows. With the Hunter, which was me here, you want to use your Night Stalker subclass and make sure you are using Black Hole, Void Wall Grenade and Envenomed as your smoke option. Using Predator also helps too. And it's the same setup if two Hunters are being used. You want to try and get as much armor as you can though, using these subclass options. The Warlock or Warlocks, if two are used, need to be on their Stormcaller subclass and should be using Superconductor and using Electrostatic Charge don't go down bad either. And if you are using a Titan, the Striker subclass is best here. You want to be using Aftermath and Unstoppable. Now you will see why these are important in a second. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to start up the Siva Crisis Heroic Strike playlist and you want to search for that Omnigal Strike. The Strike is called Will of Crota. Now this may take you a while to actually load up as it's random, but you can be lucky and land it first time. If it don't come up for you, keep going back to orbit and researching. Once you get the Omnigal Strike, you want to make your way through the strike until the first Omnigal encounter where she is screaming like a crazed bitch at the bottom of that hill. This is where you farm her and trust me guys, every time you kill her here, she drops loot at a higher level than your current equipped gear of that loot's type. And I believe it goes up to a level 365. Now it is super important that you kill her at the bottom of this hill. If you don't manage it, kill yourself and try again. Now this is what you do. The hunter runs in first and tethers the pillow to her left. Then one ball combos her, which is basically throwing both your smoke and grenade. The smoke helps lock her in place for a little while longer, while the grenade helps with minions on the floor. The titan, as soon as you hit that tether on the wall, needs to slam his fist of panic to eliminate as many of the minions as he possibly can. The aftermath used helps damage over time on both adds and omnigal. And the storm caller activates her storm trance and just aims for omnigal while the super chains and kills adds in its wake. While the warlock storm trance is omnigal, the hunter and the titan both need to use their solar sword to eliminate her as soon as possible. Once you get this down, it is super efficient. And yes, although it's art burn weak, on these heroics, the solar sword seems to be way more efficient, but like I said, this is what worked best for us. Now if two warlocks are used, after the initial tether from the hunter, both warlocks activate their storm trance and take everything out, including Omnigal, while the hunter uses his sword. If two hunters are used, one tethers the wall to her left, while the other one tethers the wizards behind her. Or if you have that Nighthawk helmet, this does some super damage to Omnigal with that golden gun. Now doing this for a little over an hour took me and my pals up four levels. My one pal is almost a 361. It is that easy. And it's a grind actually many people knew about from quite a while back because of the Grasp of Malak. But not many people are using it. Every time you kill her, she drops blues up to four blues, which is crazy. Each one being higher than the current equipped loot of that same type you have. And if this video can help even 10% of the people watching it, that is my job done. Now if you guys have any questions about it, do follow me on Twitter at DPJSC08, which is linked in that video description. But guys, that is it for another video. Subscribe for Daily Destiny, turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing, and I will catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace!